giant thank you to Barbara and the women of The View for inviting me on. And we were all moved by the little seven-year-old boy who walked into that studio after reuniting a brother and sister who had been apart for more than 60 years. Clifford Boyson holding roses for the sister he'd been looking for for 65 years. As toddlers, they were separated and sent into foster care and never saw each other again. Two weeks ago, clutching those flowers, his long-lost sister Betty came through the door. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you do have a sister. Clifford and Betty had no idea that each of them had spent decades trying to find the other. And late this week on The View, our first look at all of those letters that never made it to Betty. These are the letters, just, yeah. a, just a couple of the many letters that Clifford wrote to his sister all through the years. And you can see return to sender. It's so heartfelt, if you don't mind me sharing just what you wrote. To whom it may concern, my name is Clifford Boyson, and I'm trying to locate any family members. I'm not contacting you for money or anything like that. Please write, talk, allow me to meet them. And two weeks ago, when Betty was first contacted, there was no investigator, no authorities helping them out. It was someone else. No, it was a seven-year-old seven kid. Oh. Seven-year-old Eddie waving to the crowd, Clifford's neighbor, who'd gone onto his mother's Facebook page and began looking for Clifford's sister. And this week in New York City for his first time, he told the country why he did it. Because Clifford didn't have any family at all, so I wanted to help Clifford find his family, and sometimes Clifford gets lonely. Oh, oh sometimes he's lonely. But no longer alone, planning his first family trip ever. Easter with his sister Betty, thanks to that little friend named Eddie. He won't be lonely anymore. Oh. I think family is really important, and so does Clifford, too.